Sean right here at the Golden State Pro with Jojo Intaforo getting ready to compete 24 hours from now. What number did you pull when you came out of that athletes meeting? Um, you know what? I don't remember what number. That means you're definitely on a diet. <laughs> so it was only two minutes ago. You're probably thinking about food. What do you do between now and tomorrow when you take the stage? What's going to happen? Are you going to the gym? Are you going to pose? Are you going to eat? What? What's what? Um, between now and the show uh, tomorrow, I'm going to do a lot of posing, eating, you know, drying out. You know, I do things a little differently than you know a lot of guys. I, you know, I'll keep the fluids in a little bit, but I but I I restrict them. So I make sure I'm excreting a lot more than I'm taking in, and uh, just pushing the carbs, posing between meals, and just making sure the carbs are going where I want them to go. Well, you've been on a diet for quite some time. Uh, I think I, I remember seeing you at the uh, Europa in May. Yeah. Uh, you did the Chicago, did you not? I did the Chicago. And now we're here, so it's a tough run, but uh, you're, you're you're definitely clearly trying to get the victory. Yeah. You saw the guys you're sitting in the room with. Yeah. Um, how confident are you? right now to be able to accomplish that tomorrow I'm I'm really confident yeah, I'm really confident because this has been a good season you know yes. uh, uh, the Europa was really good and uh, I ended up placing fourth at that show uh, behind you know some some top guys branch Johnny uh, Fuad and then I went to Chicago improved and uh, battled out with Roly and uh, second place a lot of guys even told me I could have been you know in the top spot so coming into this show I'm, I'm confident and uh, my goal is to take that, that first place and if you do you're gonna continue on to the Olympic because that's even more time you got to stay on a diet I know. <laughs> it's a tough way to get there. It is, but I, I will. If I qualify for the Olympia, there's no question. Uh, I wouldn't miss out on that opportunity. Well, that's exactly what those young pros out there need to hear. The guys that are sitting on the sidelines that had an opportunity to go to the Olympia and get qualified, you got a workhorse like uh, JoJo who's going to sell out to try to get to that 50th anniversary of Mr. Olympia. It's a very important show and a milestone in the history of bodybuilding. Um, what's your perspective on that Mr. Olympia? What does that mean for you if you could win tomorrow night? Um, as far as getting into the just being a part of it, it's it's huge. I mean, just you know the history behind it. You know, I've always been a you know history historian, a fan of the sport. You know, from the beginning. You know, back in the days. You know, you know with you guys and even before you. When I had hair. <laughs> yeah, when you had the <laughs> when you had the classic flat top. <laughs> you know. Yeah. yeah. But I followed the sport. You know, before then with um you know of course Arnold, you know Haney, Mike Christian, you know um you know all those guys, Gis Gaspari. So you know just to be on that stage would be a huge for me. You know that's that's my goal. I want to be up there. Definitely. Yeah, Spoken like a true hungry young lion, Jojo Intiforo, getting ready to take the stage right here in Sacramento in 24 short hours. For Jojo, I'm Sean Ray, MuscularDevelopment.com. Sean Ray here in Sacramento, California at the Sacramento Pro with IFBB professional Tony Freeman, all the way from Atlanta still? Yep. Sure. All right, Tony, you are no stranger to the pro stage here at MD. You're about to take the stage in 24 hours. Yep. How do you feel? Feeling good, man. Feeling good. It's a long road uh, here, so you got to tell me a little bit more than that. Well, I know, a long flight, <laughs> and uh, I didn't get upgraded, so I sat in coach. Uh -oh. But um, I'm here, I made it, it's all good. <laughs> well, you're, do battle. you're one of the guys that typically about this time is already qualified for the Olympia. This is like the last opportunity here. Right. How important and significant is this contest in the overall scheme of things for 2014? Need a W here, man. Need to get that qualification. I don't want to have to go to Tampa. Mm -hmm. You know I will, though. Right. But um, but I, I'm here to win. This will be my, hopefully, third victory in a row here in Sacramento. Well, you have you beat everybody in that room, so you've got to pretty much feel confident about yeah. the competition, but we know all these guys could reveal surprises. Uh, for yourself, what did you have to do getting ready for this competition to try to get the W tomorrow? Um, just refocus. You know, I had a lot of uh, nagging injuries, and the um, main thing for me was to get, take care of that. Right. So moving forward that I'm not inhibited, and um, everything's running really good right now. I'm able to train legs the way I needed to, back, everything. So I'm really happy. I'm enjoying bodybuilding again. Uh, we just had the athletes meeting. What number did you pull? 164. All right, let's keep our eyes out for 164. Tony Freeman, the veteran here at the Sacramento Pro, will find out his fate in 24 hours. For Muscular Development, I'm Sean Ray. Thanks, Sean. All right.